what is going to happen with the third wave of connected innovation. The first wave is put a phone in every hand. The second wave is collect data about everything and everyone. We're experiencing the pain of it right now with the, all the Facebook and, and um, Cambridge Analytica scandals. And then third wave is, okay, now that you have that, do something useful. Disrupt, one, the enterprise, and that's like an endless undertaking. And two, our health system, which is in need in so, of so much uh, change and innovation. Yeah. And then as you do this, you also disrupt the underlying infrastructure that uh, supports our, our economic ecosystem and our, and our health ecosystem. Now that's sort of in a, sort of a timeline of innovation that's based on you know, technology trends and consumer trends. My eyes are definitely on China because of mobility. But I also think about like when you create a new service, how do you think about making something really innovative? And whether it's you know, five, 10 or 20 years, it comes back to our technology products have become extension of ourselves. And so when we think about what it takes to build a great product or disrupt an industry, we have to come back to who are we when we are our best selves. And then I think about mind, body, spirit framework to describe that, right? So we all want to look good. We're all going to build products that also are beautiful. And what's behind that is a lot more than, you know, pretty pictures. We all want to have meanings in our lives. So we're all going to build products that give us meaning and are very personalized. And then finally, we all want to grow and, and evolve and change, and we need products that are going to do that with us.